Welcome back. 303 in the cut is gourmet food on the go. And I'm here with one of the owners, Giuliano. How you doing, buddy? Good, how are you today? Thank you for bringing your truck down here. First off, before we get into the food, yeah. what's the backstory on 303 in the cut? The backstory on the name. So 303 is where we get our green chili from. Mm -hmm. uh, I grew up here, but I was born in Colorado. Uh, in the cut just refers to uh, being hard to find, working out of the car. Uh, food trucks are you working out of the car, you know? And you just won a big award. Tell everyone what you guys just won. I this did. is this is huge. I did. So uh, we, just, <laughs> we were just voted uh, best food truck at Great American Foodie Fest, which is one of the largest foodie fests in the country. Um, for best food truck. So. You're competing against easily 100 food trucks out yes. there. That is a big accomplishment. Now let's talk about what, some of the food that you guys offer. What do you guys have? Uh, so we do American Classics with a green chili twist. Uh, here, whoa! So I think uh, this is our smothered green chili fries, right? We smoke our chicken house, make our pinto beans, everything made from scratch. This is a green chili burrito, all right? So, wow, look at that. That looks like it feeds like two or three people that serving size. Yeah, well, I try to, we want food to be affordable, but still with great quality. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, we have a late night spot in Chinatown. It's like brick and mortar, same spot, same times every week. So it's kind of what we're building up. So what's watching right now, and there's great buzz about you guys right now. And they see that you won the award. They're seeing their food. Is that the best way to find you is on Thursday nights? Where do they want to book you for like a private event? Yeah, so whether it's Google, my website, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, I'm on all the platforms, 303 in the cut. You know, you just reach out to me about catering, or otherwise you can find us at our normal late night Chinatown location. Is this, we're inside your truck. This is a really cool thing to be inside your truck. Yeah, is this where you do all the work? Is there any pre-prep done in advance, or everything is done inside? You know, there is a prep done at the commissary that we have and whatnot, but as far as here, we really focus on everything being made to order. Mm -hmm. You know, things not coming out of the freezer, things not being prepped that we buy, just throw in. Uh, we, you know, we take great care of what we do, so. Where do you get your inspiration for making something like this? Where do you get your inspiration? Uh, so, you know, in Colorado, they do some other green chili fries, kind of like carne asada fries. Mm -hmm. um, these are just a little more flavor, a little heat to it. Um, as far as the burrito, if the burrito doesn't have grill marks, you know, it's not a burrito, <laughs> you know, so. Is this what I should try right here? Yeah, so I got the burrito, got that. Um, this is our seasoned fries. We make all our sauces in-house, ranch, through Henry, three look, garlic. Look at that, I mean, look at that right there. Hello, how good do I look? Oh my gosh, all right, let me take a bite here. Wow. That is a, uh, a parade of flavors I, inside your mouth. I've been very lucky, you know, uh, been guided and mentored by uh, Fuku Burger, the owners of Fuku yes. Yeah, they've been helping me with stuff and zero in stuff. So I, I've been very fortunate in that. So I'm, I'm trying to raise the food game in Las Vegas. And you certainly have. This is delicious. Thank you so much for joining us. 303 yeah. in the cut. Find them on Instagram. I'm going to eat. And Rocky, I'm going to send it over to you.